You've asked me many times for more what I eat in a day. Here is an entire week's worth, but I want to preface this by saying I'm not sharing what I eat to tell you here is exactly what to eat. I'm sharing it so that you can see that someone who eats everyday food every day still sees a lot of benefit from implementing an intermittent fasting lifestyle. I know my diet isn't perfect. That's not what I strive for. I have finally found a lifestyle where I am able to do it on a daily basis. Anytime I've dieted, anytime that my diet has been cleaned up significantly, I burn out. I want lifelong changes and I know you do too. So I'm sharing what I eat in a day for an entire week so that you can see someone who eats an everyday diet is still able to find success with intermittent fasting. Maybe I'm not going to get to a size zero this way. Maybe I'm not going to be the image of athletic perfection but I'm still in a much better place than I was before intermittent fasting and that's what I want you to see. I eat foods that I like every day, I enjoy my eating window every day, I love this lifestyle and I've seen so many benefits. Am I perfect? No. Is that what I'm going for? No. I'm for sustainable lifestyle changes, feeling good and enjoying food. And I'm able to do all of that with intermittent fasting and that's why I'm sharing with you what I eat in a day. Okay, here's the start of the week of what I eat in a week. It is a Monday, July 4th, 4th of July. I'm wearing my red, white, and blue, one of my husband's old baseball uniforms. This morning I've only had black coffee. This is my second cup. We are about to go to a 4th of July parade and I have an ice water packed, so I'm taking that. I'll see you there. Waiting for the parade. Guys, say hi. I'm getting my family slushes and I don't feel left out because I know if I want one, I could have one. I prefer to be fasting still. I'm about to break my fast at almost 25 hours. We're having hot dogs. I have some chips with salsa, broccoli and ranch, and I'm sure I'll get more. Okay, now I'm gonna make an ice cream sundae. This is using our Cuisinart soft serve ice cream maker. I opened the sprinkles, so it should come out as I do this. It's not the prettiest swirl, but it's, it's working. Okay, so after our grilled hot dogs, I'm having homemade banana ice cream with homemade cookie dough, and gonna have a little sundae here, and then I'll decide if I'm gonna keep my window open. It is the 4th of July, we'll see. The last thing I'm eating in my eating window are these vitamin D gummies and my eating window will be about 40 minutes long, just shy of that. Going to fireworks tonight, I'm just making myself an iced coffee. I'll enjoy that as we're gone. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Day two, Tuesday, uh, starting the same as every day, hot coffee. So this is how I start my morning, cup of hot black coffee. I love it. I actually did this before I was fasting. But that's where I'm at. It's Tuesday, July 5th, and I'll see you later when I have something different. Water. Hey, I've been running errands with my kids, picked my daughter up from volunteering at the library, and now I'm getting myself an iced coffee, which is uh, a regular from Panera. I can get iced coffee, iced tea, or hot coffee. Love it. I'm out by the pool. Kids are swimming. Had my coffee. I've been fasting 21 hours and 11 minutes so far. We're getting pizza tonight, so I'm gonna keep fasting. Okay, I'm gonna make my salad here and I'm adding a lot of roasted pepitas. A little extra protein and crunch. Then I'm gonna probably have three, maybe four pieces of pizza. I'll report back. I'm about to open my window at 23 hours, 15 minutes, and our pizza arrived late because I made a mistake. I sent it to the wrong pizza place on the other side of town. So we are eating later than I planned, but let me show you what I have here. So I have the salad that I made. I'm starting with three pieces of pizza, two pepperoni, a green olive, and then I made this iced coffee with the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I have almond milk in there and some sugar-free coconut syrup. So I'm very excited to open my window and it won't stop with this because I'm hungry today. Let's take the first bite together. Mm, first bite never disappoints, especially when it's pizza. So even though I had a long fast before this meal, it really didn't feel hard because we had a busier day. My whole family was home. We had friends over to swim and having pizza to look forward to and the salad, which I love, made it easier to fast because I had the carrot dangling at the end of the day. 
I'm gonna finish my dinner and I'll see you in a bit. Also, I just wanna say, if you have never tried pizza and ranch, you are missing out because it's elite. And before I forget, I'm gonna take two of my vitamin D gummies. I recently took a blood test, which I'll tell you about in a second, and I am almost low on vitamin D, according to my blood test, so I'm making sure I'm getting it in. They're not delicious, but good for me, right? This portion of the video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. I recently took an at-home blood test testing eight different micronutrient levels in my blood. The test was really easy to complete. I was able to use the kit, follow the directions, and send my blood sample right back to their labs. My test was analyzed, and within a few days, my blood results were emailed directly to me. And as you can see, I was almost below the normal range for vitamin D. Since this was the only one that was borderline normal, I decided to start taking vitamin D as part of my daily eating window. I have really enjoyed working with Let's Get Checked. This is the second blood test I've taken with them, and I like being able to take the test at my convenience from the comfort of my home, and knowing that I will quickly have access to the blood results, I have access to their medical team who will follow up and give me the next steps and the course of action they recommend me taking. If you are interested in taking your own micronutrient test at home, I have a link below along with a discount code where you can save 30% on your own test. Thank you so much to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's keep going with what I ate in a week. Okay, so this is actually how it usually goes. My down days aren't super planned, but we have this leftover salad, not a ton. We have tons of grapes, but look how much pizza. We had guests over, so I overbought, which happens frequently. And we still have enough pizza, so my family can eat this for dinner tomorrow. And I can probably make a new veggie since there's not much salad left. And I'm gonna do it down row because it's more of an opportunity to not make a dinner when they're eating leftovers. It'll be really easy for me to eat lunch earlier in the day. My window's still open now. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna keep it open. I want something sweet, but I'm not quite hungry yet. So I'm gonna go on a walk, get my miles in. I have my watch to track it. And when I get home, I'll probably eat something, close it out, and then because we have so much pizza left over, I get a down day tomorrow. So I looked in the freezer and I found what sounded good. I'm making some churros. I'll probably have to share, but we're gonna get started. Shake break, shake break. Since I'm sharing the churros with my family and it's a small pack, I'll only get a few, but I'm also gonna have apple with lots of cinnamon peanut butter, and a few cookie dough bites. As a matter of fact, there's a cookie dough bite now. Just as I suspected, my kids wanted me to share. So here's my dessert plate, churros, apples, cinnamon, and peanut butter. So as I'm eating this, I'm sitting on my front porch. It's nice out, the sun's going down, and I'm just gonna enjoy a little peace and quiet before bedtime. I will have about an hour and 45 minutes, probably just try of that for this eating window. And then tomorrow's gonna be a down day. Um, since this is close to 8 p.m. when I'm closing my window, I haven't decided if I'll do a down day at, um, if I'll do a down day where I eat 500 calories. 18 hours would put me at about 2 p.m. I might just do a full on fast until Thursday. So we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. That's really gonna be the determination. And I'm not sure what I'll do, so. We'll see you tomorrow and see what I do. I haven't decided. Today is day three, it's Wednesday. I am currently drinking water and I've already had a cup of coffee today. I have about an hour more until 18 hours is up where I'm gonna have my down day, so I'll see you then. So I just got done on my live and I'm getting my down day ready. Like always, the lives went long, so I'm actually about 19 hours fasted and I'm eating a little later than I wanted to today, but no big deal, so you can see I'm cooking. I'll share with you what my meal is here in a moment. Okay, so here is my 500 calorie meal for the day. I have two eggs, a chicken sausage, a cup of frozen spinach. I sauteed it all together with a little pan. I will, I topped it with two tablespoons of kimchi, which is only five calories. I'll also have green dragon sauce on the side. It's only zero calories, so I love having this on down days. I did do salt and pepper. I didn't count calories of pepper. Um, also, I have my liquid IV. I had the watermelon in here, only 45 calories, especially as I'm doing a down day. I do find these to be helpful, but because it has sugar, 
and the, all the flavorings. I do have it in my eating window. I will drink this last. And then this will be my dessert after I eat the egg stuff. It's a cup of blueberries, five strawberries sliced up, and a cup of almond milk, vanilla. All together, this is 495 calories. And I'm really looking forward to this meal. It sounds delicious to me. All right, so, oops, 19 hours, 20 minutes, and we are going to have the first bite together. Do a little more green dragon. This stuff is the best, Trader Joe's. Here we go, 19 hours, 21 minutes. I'm gonna save the fast. Mm, so good. Egg scrambles are always like a good way to go. And then the kimchi on top, just a little bonus. <clears throat> Also today, I'm really excited and thank you guys. I hit 40,000 subscribers on YouTube today, which is really exciting to me. Um, if you would have told me four years ago, that just sound, sounds astronomical. I literally cannot believe it. And if you would have told me that four years ago, I probably would have pooped my pants. So, yay, no pooping my pants today though. Okay, so I say this, if you read my blogs about 500 calorie down days, I say this every time I think or I mean to. One of the biggest and most important parts of a 500 calorie down day is to make it food that you actually enjoy. Don't do 500 calories of rice cakes. Like make it food that you enjoy because I'm still really enjoying this meal. Yes, I have to be very creative and conscious of the calories, but I still love this. The egg, the spinach, the chicken sausage, the hot sauce, it's so good. And I'm enjoying every bite. So down days I can implement when I enjoy the food. If I didn't enjoy the food, I wouldn't be able to look forward to the down day, which would make it seem much more sacrificial. But this is enjoyable. All right, so I finished the eggs. Very good. And now I'm onto this, and I'm wondering why I don't eat this more. It's so good. Vanilla almond milk with berries. In a perfect world, I'd have granola in here, but that would shoot my calories way up. But super good. I'm eating my 500 calorie down day. And this boy comes and eats chips right next to me. No mercy for mom. You don't get a break with kids, but you do get better the more you fast. I can have bunions tomorrow if I want them. Too late for caffeine. So much joy in this cup, even though it's decaf. 9.30, I'm enjoying it, and I'll move on to water next. My dessert for the night. Kids are in bed watching TV with my hubby. Good morning. It is day four and it is my up day. I am just having my absolute favorite black coffee. I'm about to clean. I left my house a mess before I went to bed last night and I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I'm actually really close to 18 hours since it closed. My window closed like before four. It's like 9.30 when I hit 18 hours, but I'm going to fast on longer than that. I'm going to go until at least lunchtime. And reminder, an update, I'm going to eat two meals and at least for six hours. So even if I eat a later lunch, I'll just probably snack after dinner. So I'm not sure exactly what today's going to bring. We were supposed to visit my mom today and then I had car issues yesterday. And because my car is in the shop, we postponed for a week to go visit my mom. So today's kind of an unknown, but I still look forward to having an update. So more to come, but for now, coffee podcast cleaning. I hit the 18 hour mark. I'm still feeling good, but I'm starting to get excited thinking of what I want to eat later. I really don't know, but it's kind of fun feeling like, Ooh, I have a whole update to plan. The possibilities are endless. So it is lunchtime. I'm at 20 hours, 30 minutes fasted. And yes, I haven't gotten ready for the day. I've been cleaning. So, you know, give me a break, but the potential of a date night has um, presented itself. So it's not for sure, but I'm really hoping my husband and I get a date night, which means we get to go out to a restaurant. Um, if we go to a restaurant, it'll probably, probably be Chili's because we bought a gift card promo that they were running where you got like bonus cards and they have to be used in July. Long story short, it is a restaurant of opportunity to get lots of food for less money. Um, so that's probably where we'll go if we have the opportunity. I'm really hoping it um, comes to fruition and I don't have to cook tonight because as much as I like to cook, I like to go to restaurants even more. I would 100%
probably eat out every single night if I could. I'm sure I'd get sick of it, but I really like going to restaurants. So I get you get to pick whatever you want on the menu. You don't have to prep the ingredients. It's laid back. You get to enjoy the food. You get to enjoy whatever company you're with. I even like going to restaurants by myself. I don't have any issue with that. I used to travel for work, and I really like going to restaurants by myself. So restaurants are where it's at. So any opportunity for a date night with my husband is my favorite. So cross your fingers with me. Okay, so I just got ready for the day. My hair is still a little crazy. I'll fix that in a bit. But you can see I have a lot of leftovers and food in the fridge. So I'm going to make, I don't really know what for lunch. We'll see. I'll meet you once I have my lunch plate ready and we'll open my window. Okay, so here is what I'm going to be opening my window with. It's a little, it'll be probably 20 to 15 by the time I make my liquid IV. Because I'm going to make a liquid IV water. That sounds really good to me. I have artichokes. I have leftover broccoli. I'm just going to eat the rest. I have this leftover Asian salad. I'm going to eat the rest of that. I put a bunch of pepitas. I have a coconut whole milk Greek yogurt, which I love from Aldi. And I put the rest of the blueberry pint on there. Um, and then I have one piece of pizza and some ranch. So I'm going to eat all of this. I'm going to make my liquid IV. And then I'm going to break my window again. It'll be about 22 hours and 15 minutes by the time it's ready. I am going to drink the passion fruit liquid IV. Watermelon's my favorite, but this is really good too. So is the acai berry. I like them all. Okay, update for you. The salad is way too soggy. I basically ate the papitas off the top. Couldn't get through it. Um, I added some granola to my yogurt because a little extra crunch sounded good after the soggy salad. And I'm saving the cold pizza with ranch for last. I love cold pizza and I really love cold pizza with ranch. So I'm sitting outside. I have my liquid IV still. I'm about to read a new book I got from the library while my kids are swimming. I haven't had anything since my lunch, but I'm feeling satisfied and looking forward to hopefully date night. Still crossing my fingers I get the date night. Starting with Bacardi Beach Party. We got the skillet queso with chips and salsa as an app, and Matt got a salad. With this fry, I admit to the lots left, but my drink's gone. Done. I am going to have two of these peanut butter candy cookies. I actually really love these. They're from Aldi, and I bought them this Sunday. It is now Thursday, and I'm finally going to have two, and I have a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, dynamic duo here very excited. I've been waiting for this for days. So good. What's more American than milk and cookies? So I'm on a walk. I have had my window closed about probably 45 minutes at this point and I just had a thought. So I was thinking about how I only ate half my entree tonight and I didn't feel bad that I'm not eating the rest. I didn't feel bad that I didn't bring the leftovers home with me, that I gave them to someone. I enjoyed the dinner for what it was. I enjoyed my selection, but I don't feel the need to continue to enjoy it or eat it all or it wasn't satisfactory. And I feel like that kind of peace and that kind of joy is something that you don't expect to gain from intermittent fasting, but really limiting when I eat has really given me freedom to enjoy food, to stop when I'm full and know that the next eating window has every potential to be just as satisfactory because I have choice and I don't feel like I need to get it in now or it's not going to happen. So. Those are my random walk thoughts. Now I'm gonna look for cars. Hey guys, so today's day five in what I eat in a week and I've already had hot coffee. I just brewed actually a cup of hot coffee and I have it in here. I'm letting it cool because we are about to go to a local lake where my kids are gonna play at the beach with a neighbor. I'm making an iced coffee. I don't have time or want to take the time to run to Panera, but I also packed in my cooler here a can of sparkling water. So I'm gonna have Ice coffee, sparkling water. I'll be at the lake reading. I might take my laptop. I haven't decided to see if I can uh, write a blog post, but the kids are gonna have fun. I'll have two beverages that I love. We'll enjoy the beautiful day and I'll be fasting. So it'll be a lot of fun. I'm 17 hours and 36 minutes fasted. I'm at the park. I literally have no thoughts of eating. I am very satisfied. This usually happens after an update. I still feel pretty full, I guess. Not like a full, like, oh, can't eat feeling, but just more like don't have the desire to eat yet. Um, and I really am enjoying my iced coffee that I brought right here. And then I'll have my water. I'm hoping the kids want to stay a while because I have a new book to read. And I haven't read, like, just a novel in a long time. 
So I'm excited to uh, relax and hope it lasts a while, but I'm feeling good, enjoying the fact. I love these. Having lots of drinks that I like in my eating window certainly makes it different. I can have iced tea, ice water, hot tea, black coffee, sparkling water, lots of options. I am ready to eat. It is, here's the gnocchi, I have bread, alfredo sauce, green beans, noodles. So this is for tomorrow's dinner as well. You can see we have bread, cheese, butter, blueberries, so. I'm excited to get my dinner on. It's almost done. Okay, I'm downstairs with my daughter. We are actually watching a movie. We do this sometimes. Her and I want something different than the ones upstairs, so we're gonna be down here. I'm gonna wait for 22 hours, 30 minutes. I have less than two minutes left, but I'll share with you what I'm having. I have bread butter cheese. This is sharp cheddar. I have whole yogurt. This was so good yesterday. I really looked forward to having it again today with blueberries and instead of granola, I'm gonna put pepitas on it, but I need to stir it up a bit. And I overestimated how much was left in the bag. I'll just snack on those. And then I have gnocchi here with homemade Alfredo sauce, some pesto and green beans. And I'm just gonna stir that all up and I will be dipping my bread in the excess sauce I have there. My husband loves to make homemade gnocchi and his is delicious, but this was from a pack at HelloFresh. I boiled it, I sauteed it in butter, and it looks really good. He said it's really good. He's He already started eating. And then finally, I don't drink much wine, but I thought this sounded like a good dinner for a red wine. This is from a Christmas advent calendar, so we'll call it Christmas in July, reindeer red. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to be breaking my fast here. Anything you want to say, Elsie? No. Do you want me to turn off the camera so we can watch? Yes. Okay, first bite. Delicious. Also, in case you're curious, we're watching Big Brother. I'm obsessed with Big Brother, and I finally am letting Elsie watch it with me, right? So I finished off my eating window with a handful of cookie dough bites and my vitamin D gummies. I've been taking those ever since I got the blood test and hoping that I increase my vitamin D levels. But my eating window was only 25 minutes long, and I'm very satisfied. It was easy to fast, almost 23 hours because I knew I had this wonderful meal. I ate a lot in a short amount of time. I'm satisfied and I'll be happy to fast till tomorrow. <laughs> and he thinks he needs to be the star of every show. My girls and I are having a little girl trip. Uh, I'm past 18 hours fasted, but barely. It is noon, 12, 15 in the afternoon. I got a black coffee. My girls both got lattes and we are going shopping and I'm gonna enjoy my hot coffee and the company and hopefully not spend too much money. I need to get my uh, fuel for our first store we're here. I'm trying to teach my daughters the joy of consignment shopping, so we'll see what we find. <sighs> um, score shoes I've wanted for a long time. We're at the consignment store in my size, size 11. Yep. Mila found some stuff too. Next stop is Target. After finding those Air Force Ones, I don't really care what we find now, but um, coffee's still fueling me, and we're on to the next stop. Right, girls? Yep. Okay, I am back from shopping with my girls. It was quite the experience. I'm actually heading to a party with my son for a preschool friend. So before I go, I am going to prep beef. We're having Big Mac salads and the leftover pasta from last night with the Alfredo sauce. I'm getting the beef ready so that it's easy once we get back because it's gonna be a late dinner. The party's from four to 6.15 and it's not with dinner. So it just makes it a little difficult to plan dinner. So I'm trying to get a little ahead of the game, get ready, and when I come back, I'll be opening my window with dinner and we're gonna have like a movie night snacks. I'm kind of excited because a company has sent me like treats from around the world to try out on my grocery channel and we're gonna try that tonight as family. I don't know what country's in here, but I'm excited to give it a whirl. Um, at the end of the video, I'll link to the video of us testing these. So I'm kind of excited to have my eating window and have some international snacks. Prepping now, even if I'm not eating yet, makes it a lot easier. When I do get to open my eating window, I'll be ready, especially since I know it's gonna be a later eating window. It's gonna be nice to be prepped. 
and I'm looking forward to a later eating window today because um, we have fun things planned. Okay, we are going into a bounce house for a five-year-old birthday party. This boy's excited. I am here for the ride, and uh, yeah. I'm fueling up before we go in. I just broke my fast at 24 and a half hours. I just got back from the party. Most of my family ate while we were gone and Kel ate at the birthday party. So I made this giant Big Mac salad and some tater tots for the side. It's super delicious and well worth the fast of 24 and a half hours. I'm gonna enjoy this evening. So let me finish my dinner and I'll share with you what's next. Can't forget my D3 gummies. Now that my eating window's open, I'm also gonna make a passion fruit liquid IV. I've been looking forward to having that as well. And it's whole chestnuts in here. So I'm gonna... Okay, I will be closing my window close to two and a half hours with these two Reese's Pieces cookies and some almond milk. I do wish I had more almond milk, but that's all that we have left. It'll be a delicious closer to my meal. Okay, so I lied. After I had my two cookies, I wanted something salty, so I'm having a little bit of popcorn and some crushed chips because they're leftovers, so... I needed some salty after the sweet while we're watching the movie and I'll close my window close to three hours. It is my final day of sharing with you guys what I'm eating today and I wanted to share with you what I've been doing while fasting. Over here, I'm making crock pot cheesy potatoes. I also went grocery shopping earlier today. I also prepped all my ingredients for burgers. Here's a zucchini bake that I still have to put butter and breadcrumbs on top of. And I made a corn salad and watermelons chopped, getting ready for a party today. I know it sounds probably really hard to believe, but I am two years into fasting and I really don't have too hard of a time. By having the time constraints, I'm able to enjoy the food within my eating window. It's easy to prep the food when I have it to look forward to. And it's also easy to not overeat when it's not something that I'm breaking the rules to have, or I better have it now because I'm never gonna eat this again, and then I stuff my face with it, which I've done so many times in the past when I take a day off of a diet. With intermittent fasting, it's my lifestyle. I feel really good, and I like to feel good, so it's easy for me to continue to make the choice to fast every day when my eating window is delicious. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the party and eating later. When I open my window, I will be snacking. I'm not gonna film every snack. It'll be, it's already past 18 hours, but we have a corn dip I made here, lots of chips, salsa, chip dip, watermelon. And this is out before dinner at the pool. I am making liquid IV. I'm about to open my eating window. This is acai berry. I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'll be breaking my fast here in just a moment. It's 19 hours and 20 minutes, 5 p.m. My first bite of the day today is gonna to be the vitamins and then I'm going out to the snack bar. I'm also taking my magnesium. I haven't stopped taking that. I just haven't filmed it. So uh, I opened my eating window with chips and snacks and we're about to have the dinner. I'm gonna have a hot dog and all of these salads. So my mother-in-law made and brought snickerdoodles. I'm gonna eat two cookies and I'm gonna close up my window and it'll be just under an hour and 15 minutes. Lots of food, lots of really good stuff and then I get to enjoy the party with a nice coffee. If you wanna see another what I ate in a day for an entire week from fall of 2021, you can see this video right here. It's another example. Again, it's not telling you, here's my blueprint, copy it, you'll be successful. It's showing you someone without diet restrictions is able to implement intermittent fasting and still see results. 